The Bitcoin network offers a unique type of security to its users, proof of work. POW is a decentralized mechanism for securing a network. The method, however, is extremely energy intensive, necessitating the use of thousands of competing computers or miners to do redundant computations. Bitcoin's tank like security is consumed by a tiny group of cypherpunks, enthusiasts, and technologically knowledgeable folks who only do POW secure transactions and avoid non POW secured ones. Self custody is second nature to them, as they possess a thorough grasp of Bitcoin and can express why POW based security is preferable. The majority of Bitcoin buyers these days, though, aren't cypherpunks but infrequent users. These tourists are not interested in making peer to peer Bitcoin payments, they are unconcerned with the Bitcoin network's high level of security, and they're quite happy to retain their Bitcoins on Coinbase or Binance. These casual consumers basically want to get wealthy. And it's because of this flood in tourists that a proof of work tax may become essential. A tax-induced drop in Bitcoin's price would allow cypherpunks to buy and use Bitcoin as a commodity at a far lower cost than before, since the tourists will essentially be pushed away from wasteful POW consumption. This will free up massive amounts of renewable and non-renewable power that might be used for other industrial uses. Trade the global markets with HF Markets. Open a live account at www.hfeu.com.